Chapter 2 It happened, when the Lord said he would take up Elijah by a whirlwind into heaven, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please wait here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take away your master from you today? He said, Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. Elijah said to him, Elisha, please wait here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. He said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The sons of the prophets who were at Jericho came near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from you today? He answered, Yes, I know it. Be quiet. Elijah said to him, Please wait here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. He said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. The two of them went on together. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood against them far off, as the two stood by the Jordan. Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and struck the waters, and they were divided here and there, so that the two went over on dry ground. It happened, when they had gone over, that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you, before I am taken from you. Elisha said, Please let a double portion of your spirit be on me. He said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be so, but if not, it will not be so. It happened, as they went on and talked, that there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, which parted them apart, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots and the horsemen of Israel. He saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. He took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and struck the waters, and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And when he also had struck the waters, they were divided here and there, and Elisha went over. When the sons of the prophets who were at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah does rest on Elisha. They came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. They said to him, Look, there are fifty strong men with your servants. Let them go, and seek your master, lest the Spirit of the Lord has taken him up and placed him on some mountain or into some valley. He said, You shall not send them. When they urged him until he was ashamed, he said, Send them. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought for three days, but didn't find Elijah. They came back to him while he stayed at Jericho, and he said to them, Didn't I tell you don't go? The men of the city said to Elisha, Behold, we pray you, the location of this city is pleasant as my Lord sees, but the water is bad, and the land miscarries. He said, Bring me a new jar and put salt in it. They brought it to him. He went forth to the spring of the waters, and cast salt in it, and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters, and there shall not be from there any more death or miscarrying. So the waters were healed to this day, according to the word of Elisha which he spoke. He went up from there to Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came out of the city young men, and they mocked him and said to him, Go up, baldy, go up, you bald head. He looked behind them and saw them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. Two she-bears came out of the wood, and mauled forty-two of the young men. He went from there to Mount Carmel, and from there he returned to Samaria. Chapter 2 
Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not, that when I was yet with you I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not in the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation, through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts, and establish you in every good word and work. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom one hundred twenty satraps, who should be throughout the whole kingdom, and over them three presidents, of whom Daniel was one, that these satraps might give account to them, and that the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was distinguished above the presidents and the satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the kings thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and the satraps sought to find occasion against Daniel as touching the kingdom, but they could find no occasion nor fault, because he was faithful. Neither was there any error or fault found in him. Then these men said, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and counselors assembled together to the king and said thus to him, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the deputies and the satraps, the counselors and the governors, have consulted together to establish a royal statute, and to make a strong law, that whoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of you, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the law, and sign the writing, that it be not changed according to the rule of the Medes and Persians, which doesn't alter. Therefore King Darius signed the writing and the law. When Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. Now his windows were open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. And he kneeled on his knees three times a day and prayed, and gave thanks before his God as he did before. Then these men assembled together and found Daniel making petition and supplication before his God. Then they came near and spoke before the king concerning the king's law. Haven't you signed a decree? 
that every man who shall make petition to any god or man within thirty days, save to you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered, The thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which doesn't alter. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, who is of the children of the captivity of Judah, doesn't regard you, O king, nor the rule that you have signed, but makes his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was very displeased, and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, and he labored until the going down of the sun to rescue him. Then these men assembled together to the king, and said to the king, Know, O king, that it is a law of the Medes and Persians, that no decree nor statute which the king establishes may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spoke and said to Daniel, Your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. A stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep fled from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. When he came near to the den to Daniel, he cried with a lamentable voice. The king spoke and said to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, is your God, whom you serve continually, able to deliver you from the lions? Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lions' mouths, and they have not hurt me. Because as before him, innocence was found in me, and also before you, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceeding glad, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found on him, because he had trusted in his God. The king commanded, and they brought those men who had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them, and broke all their bones in pieces, before they came to the bottom of the den. Then King Darius wrote to all the peoples, nations, and languages, who dwell in all the earth, Peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree, that in all the dominion of my kingdom men tremble in fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, and steadfast forever. His kingdom is that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even to the end. He delivers and rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius, and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Psalm 112 Praise Yah! Blessed is the man who fears Yahweh, who delights greatly in his commandments. His seed will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house. His righteousness endures forever. Light dawns in the darkness for the upright, gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with the man who deals graciously and lends. He will maintain his cause in judgment for he will never be shaken, the righteous will be remembered forever. He will not be afraid of evil news, his heart is steadfast, trusting in Yahweh. His heart is established, he will not be afraid in the end when he sees his adversaries. He has dispersed, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. His horn will be exalted with honor, the wicked will see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked will perish. Psalm 113 Praise Yah! Praise you servants of Yahweh! Praise the name of Yahweh! Blessed be the name of Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, Yahweh's name is to be praised. Yahweh is high above all nations, His glory above the heavens. Who is like Yahweh our God, who has His seed on high, 
who stoops down to see in heaven and in the earth. He raises up the poor out of the dust, lifts up the needy from the ash heap, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother of children. Praise Yah!